all right what's up y'all so new video or new project coming soon got some doors from a chevy 1500 so we're doing three six and a half at the bottom going all the way across and it'll be a design color change light style in it so this should be a fun one but stick around uh yeah stick around it'll, it's gonna get good real soon all right what's up y'all so finally selling these old door panels so i got somebody on the way to pick these up now so it's been fun while it lasted and uh they'll be on to the next but in the meantime i just picked up another project so uh Chevy 1500 we're doing three six and a halves across the bottom a little design in there some lights but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start taking this stuff apart and getting it prepped but this should be a pretty interesting one you might see this video late because I think we're gonna hold off on releasing everything until until show season kicks back up I think so you might by the time you see this video it'll probably already be around the city and uh you know you probably been seeing it in person if you're in texas so anyway sit back and uh enjoy the ride i guess all right so first things first we got to take this uh this whole pocket off and it's just on with some seven millimeter bolts so go ahead take all of this off then i got my base ready all right, so there's eight screws. Once you get all of those off, the seven millimeter screws, this is what you're left with. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna lay glass, fiberglass all across this. I think I'm gonna follow this line right here. And so it'll be glassed all the way up to this line. And then I'm gonna build on top of that, the three six and a half that's gonna go in there. So that's how we're gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and take this door apart and then I can uh, start taping everything off and masking everything off with uh, tape and aluminum foil and all of that so I can get the mold off and then it'll be ready to go. All right, y'all, so this is what we got so far. I didn't skip anything other than just cutting this wood out, but basically three six and a halves and I'm thinking I'm on I'm still not quite sure yet, but I'm thinking I'm going to go with this kind of sort of angled flow to match the way the door is made. But three, six and a half, it's got to sit out to about here at least for, uh, for clearance. So it'll be like that. It's going to be a screen to cover this whole deal, sort of like my old white doors, if you remember them. If not, I don't know, I might put a picture up somewhere around here so you can kind of get an idea. But on the screen, it's going to have a Chevy sign built into the screen. So it'll cover it up. Something like that. So this is what we're looking for. I might do something in this area. I might leave it alone and just kind of smooth it out. when it Smooth out the shape and leave it alone. But I might do like a logo or something here. I'm not sure yet. I'm, I'm kind of freestyling this as I go. But So wood is cut for the first template. And I got this taped off because unlike the last doors I did in there, which I don't know if you watched that or not, but I put that up here so you can get caught up in that. But I'm doing this one more like the first set of doors I did for my old Impala. So I'm going to fiberglass this base. That way I got everything taped off so once the glass dries, I can pop it off. And this will be a, a removable door pod. So... Once the time comes, you know, if you want to sell these and get another set made, you can just pop these off, sell the pods, and then get some new pods put on, or go back to the factory look. So, that's the plan for these, but this is taped off, so this will be ready for glass. I still got to tape the other side, but I'm trying to just get, get the ideas together for before I actually duplicate everything, but... Way of my options, but I think this is gonna be I think this is gonna be the look. So three six and a half Chevy sign screen and of course, you know, designed all over here. Which you might see where I'm going, you might not, which would be a reason for you to watch part two. But 
this is what we got so far. So let me go ahead and get this uh, the other template for the other side. Get all that cut out, designed up, and then I'll uh, I'll know what I'm doing then. So let me get back to this, and I'll get back to you. All right, another day, another step. So this piece is cut out. Now what I did, let that sit still. But went ahead and traced this out. So what's going to be on top of this? Well, this is going to be the grill piece that covers up the speaker. So I just traced that out. I uh, had this laying around. So get my outline of this. And it'll be, this will be a screen, this will be a screen, and then all of this will be a screen. Everything else will be solid. Uh, I think this and the fiberglass piece is going to be wrapped. I'm not sure yet, but I think everything is going to be wrapped in that, uh, that leather, that red leather. But, you know, we'll, we'll get to that when we get to it. But, got everything uh, traced out. All I got to do now is drill a couple holes in this, in this piece. So I can get that uh, jigsaw in there and cut this stuff out. And then my rough cut, all of this. And then everything will be traced against this on the router. So let me go ahead and get these holes drilled and uh, get this jigsaw set up. Alright, holes drilled. Get all of this out the way. But uh, let me find this jigsaw and go ahead and get all that ready. Alright. I don't know when I'm going to have this video up for y'all to watch, but it's October now, and I swear I can't stand the way it get dark so early, but bring this to the light. I still got one more template piece to cut, but so far, this is what we got. Speaker ring for the driver's side, and I still got a router this, but that's going to be the cover, so you can kind of get an idea of how that's going to go. But, like I said, I still got to cut the other template like this, this driver side. I still got to cut the passenger side. Uh, I'm going to come back maybe tomorrow and router all the edges, get everything lined up even. And, uh, yep, so once I get that, then I can deal with fiberglass and that bottom piece of the door panel, like getting the mold and stuff ready. So... Yeah, let me go ahead and cut this last piece, and then I'm probably going to be done for the night. All right, so it's a new day. Uh, got my flush trim bit ready to go. Just going to double-sided tape on this. So what I'm going to do is trace it around this, on this line. So they'll be the same shape. And if you watched one of my other videos... The other fiberglass videos, you already know what this process is. But if not, it's basically the easiest way to make multiple copies of something. Exactly the same size, exactly the same shape. So if you want to make like a left and a right side or or any, anything where you need two pieces and you want them exactly the same, keep your symmetry flowing. This, uh... Router is what you need. It's a lot easier to do than trying to actually jigsaw cut this all these pieces and cut them exactly to the same size. So definitely a good investment. All right, everything is pressed down. You can see the little ledge or whatever. So all of that's ready. Now we just gotta. I don't know if you can see this. Ah, there we go. And let's lower this. So we can line this up to where the bearing is on the top piece. And the blade is just past the piece we cutting. So. Alright, so that's locked back down. You can see where we're going to be cutting. All of this is pressed down good, and it's time to go ahead and cut this up and get that evened out, and then I can get these pieces next and router out the outside edges. All right, so second piece, got it taped up, ready to uh, to stick these two together. I already 
trim the outside edges for the first piece and we got the Chevy sign piece stuck on here same double sided tape all of this you just put as much as you feel to make you comfortable really where you feel like the piece won't get up and move on you but I got this tape down so this will be ready to ride it but I'm gonna go ahead and get this outside edges on this one cut first and then I'll come back to finish out the Chevy sign on this one alright so edges are cut and even on this one everything is cut and ready on this template so you see everything's an exact match with uh with this piece so now how you gotta do get your flat head you basically just pry everything loose and then take all of your all your tape off you can pull it straight off but uh what i started doing was kind of rolling it off just because sometimes it'll leave that residue and if you plan on keeping the wood piece and using it that uh that same smooth finish like if you want to paint it or something like that this just helps to keep it from ripping any of the wood off of it when you take the tape off if you just roll it that way you have pretty much a smooth surface and you can sand it and prep it how you want but anyway once i finish out of that same process for this one just pry everything loose and put this over here that's good to go and i already got this one taped up and ready so all i gotta do is take off the edges i mean take off the the green part or whatever lay that on there get it stuck real good then i'm ready to cut that one too so let me go ahead and get that out the way and uh move on to the next step all right it's time to wind down for the night but i got both of them cut out so it's the driver's side, it's cut out, ready to go. This one is the passenger side. You can see I cut it out and left a little space between, well, the cut and the actual line where it needs to be. But that'll be fixed uh, tomorrow or whatever day I get back on this when I uh, do the router part. So if you've seen my, my other couple of videos, you'll know how the router works. But if not, stay tuned.